Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So today we're back with another speed build. Um, this is a very big house. It's six bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. So if you've got a nice multi-generational family or just need a big home for whatever reason, this house might just be for you. So yeah, stick around, watch what I do. But I really, really love how it's turned out and I'm actually wanting to use it. Like, I don't know what I'd use it for or what family or anything like that, but I kind of love it. So I hope you do too. There's no CC or store content or anything like that. It's just the stuff packs and expansion packs. I'm not entirely sure what packs I use. I do sometimes get like comments asking what packs it includes. To be honest, I don't have the foggiest. So I do apologize. But yeah, so the download link is in the description down below. I should just say that and yeah I really as I said I really really love this build it didn't take me that long to do at all so as you can see this is only eight minutes long and that is including screenshots and like the end screen and everything so yeah it's built in Sunset Valley on a 40 by 40 lot and um, it doesn't actually take up the full 40 by 40 lot but I built it on this lot and by the time I'd built it and sort of was then doing the uh, like exterior I was like I can't be bothered to like move it or anything like that so I do apologize it doesn't take up the whole lot and that really irritates me I don't know if it irritates anyone else but I like the house and like the whole outside to take up the whole lot I don't know if that's just me or anything like that but yeah as you can see on the side here there is a nice big garage so if your sims are into like tinkering or sculpture or painting or gym or anything like that and um, they can go outside into the garage to do that and yes yeah, so I should also mention this house is unfurnished and um, I have only furnished like placeholders for the bathroom and the kitchen so if you would like to move into a house that is all you'd normally get so yeah that's what I wanted to do with this build I know every build that I've done so far as in like residential lots they've been unfurnished so I do apologize but I've just been loving doing some exteriors I'm kind of burning out of commercial like uh what are they called commercial lots is that what they're called community lots they're the ones I'm on about um, so I just wanted to do something just a little bit different and yeah I want to get my building bug back so I thought if I do some residential lots maybe that'll just spark me into wanting to do some more building but as you can see the windows are actually white and black and I really really like it I was gonna do just like a dark brown which is like my usual but I decided to go for black and well it's actually a really really dark grey but I really love how it's turned out and yeah I was just trying to experiment and do different things and I think it turned out okay you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what you think and any uh, and a little bit if I can talk if anything like that I think I'm like my brain is working over time like I just want to talk so 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 fast and yeah so I do apologize that I talk really fast but yeah um out the back there is a lovely pond and I really really love how it's turned out it's quite small but I think it's like a nice feature for the back garden and everything like that this was built over the course of two or three days I know it's only like eight minutes long and it really didn't take me very long but I had stuff going on and oh yeah I remember what I was doing my eldest was at nursery and he does a full day now on a Thursday so I was like while my um, five month old naps I will try and do some building and obviously he didn't nap for very long so I had to keep coming back and away and yeah so this was actually done over the course of two days but I think it turns out okay anyway <laughs> considering I did have to like have breaks and everything but hopefully you won't be able to see like the jump cuts or anything like that that's my plan anyway but my editing skills are not the best I'm just gonna put it that way like I've watched so many people's videos and some people are just amazing amazing people uh, are like editing their f like videos and stuff that's not me I can't edit for toffee so yeah I do apologize <laughs> I am hopefully gonna try and get a little bit better especially for my like leprosy I'm gonna try and just sit there and do a little bit more editing but I love watching people that have unedited stuff I 
I just really enjoy it but I know not a lot of people do so I'm gonna try and edit myself better if that makes any sense whatsoever but yeah as you can see here I'm just sort of painting everything the same colour and um, very very neutral so if you download this you can literally do whatever you want with it change the colour of anything feel free and um, just do bear in mind that I use CFE for the garage that's the only thing I'd probably mention if you know how to use CFE then it's not a problem at all is it and yeah I don't really know what to talk about to be honest I've actually got another speed build that I need to do a voiceover on as well and yeah like I don't really know what to talk about. It's been horrible here today in the UK. It's been non-stop raining and I just wish that we had some sun. I don't care about it being hot or anything like that. I just need a little bit of sun. I don't know if anyone else is the same, but just a little bit of sun puts you in a better mood. It makes me want to like dance and sing and I can't dance or sing. <laughs> My other half will vouch for that one. I cannot dance or sing. But yeah, so here I am now laying out what is going to be the kitchen. Obviously, if you download this house, you don't have to keep this floor pan. It's not set in stone or anything like that. You can change it. I just imagine it to be like an open kitchen diner. And then behind it would be the laundry room and like a half bathroom. Again, it's not set in stone. So if you want to change that, feel free. And yeah, so I'm just going to put in some placeables or placeholders even. And this is going to be obviously the kitchen. I use the pets uh, counters. I use them all the time. I am a big sucker for them. I just think they're so nice. They don't have like that bit at the back that most of the other cheap ones have. And then you can make a nice island out of it. Wow, my voice cracked. That was that was classy. Um, and yeah, I really, really love how that turns out as well. And yeah, basically I just really like this build and I think I'm going to have to use it for something. It is six bedrooms, so that is a lot. And to be honest, downstairs there is another room that you could possibly make into another bedroom, either the one on the right or the left, because I imagined one to be a study and one to be a playroom, um, just because this house is so big. But again, if you need it as another bedroom, then you possibly could be a seventh bedroom. But yeah, that's up to you you guys when you download it, if you want it. Um, I'm also thinking about possibly setting up a Sims resource download page. I don't know if that would be something you guys would be interested in. Um, just so you don't have to come onto my YouTube pages and, or my YouTube and download. But yeah. Anyway, we're like right at the very end here. So I'm going to love you and leave you with some music and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.